If you're new to Destiny, you might have heard rumors of a silly little hunter under the name of Cade Six. Well, he got domed by a man named Olderin after Cade insulted his sister by saying, How's your sister? Well, Cade Six's weapon of choice was his hand cannon by the name of Ace of Spades. And he's dead now, so in typical Guardian fashion, we weapon jack a dead guy and use it to create a lot more dead men. And dead women, no discrimination. Let's break down the perks. The Ace of Spades is a 140 round per minute hand cannon with the exotic perk Memento Mori. Which makes it so reloading after a kill loads the magazine with a few extra damage bullets. And Firefly, which means precision kills with this weapon, increase your reload speed and cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage to nearby enemies. Then it'll also have a constant radar while aiming down sights. These perks make the hand cannon a blast, literally. So to put it simply, a headshot kill will cause your enemy to explode. Then you'll gain a reload speed buff following any kill with this weapon if you reload within a second or two will cause your next 6 shots to have an increased damage. Roughly 50% in PvE and 33% against other Guardians, which is like a lot of damage, especially in PvP. But swapping the Ace of Spades will clear your Memento Mori stacks. And then every other perk makes this a top tier hand cannon alone. So being able to make heads literally explode and then proceed to make your other bullets do even more damage is an insane combo. And then the Catalyst Funeral Pyre will make it so your Firefly will do even more damage with Memento Mori activated, which is insane. Start with PvP, because that's where I use the Ace of Spades 99% of the time. Using this thing is like if you were playing poker and your enemy was dealt a 2-7 all suit and you're dealt pocket aces, because they are in for a cheek clapping of a lifetime. You like that? Poker lingo describing a gun called the Ace of Spades? Truly a genius here. Okay, but in all seriousness, this is truly my favorite, favorite hand cannon in PvP, and it's not even close. The gameplay behind can attest to everything I'm saying. If you check Destiny Tracker Weapon Insights, you'll see this weapon is constantly in the top 10 weapons and even top 5 most of the time. The Ace of Spades is straight up a menace in its own category of god tier. No matter how hard I try to want to use something different, I cannot dare put this thing away. The headshots are so crisp, and once it starts glowing with that blue smoke, you know it's time to destroy an enemy. This thing will have you feeling like the Texas Ranger at all times. Close range fights? Check. Long range fights? Check. Any and everything between? Absolutely. But of course, with how reliant the meta is with scouts and pulse rifles, longer and more open maps will still give you that challenge. Overall, a truly amazing PvP hand cannon that'll have you leaving other guardians headless on the battlefield. In PvE, this thing is an ad clearing headshot machine. Like, blow the head off your enemy 24 7. At times, you'll clear a group of 8 or so red bars with one headshot. Memento Mori makes this pistol deal crazy damage and cause the craziest firefly explosions whenever you get a headshot kill. But anything that isn't a red bar or very low tier orange bar will put up quite a fight. But if you're set in stone on wanting to use a hand cannon in PvE, I do think there are better ad clear hand cannons like the Sunshot and a better boss damage hand cannon like the Malfeasance. The Ace of Spades isn't absolutely terrible in PvE, but keeping it as your main PvP hand cannon will have you sitting very pretty. My final review of the Ace of Spades is that it is a rootin' tootin' shootin' PvP animal. It is truly one of, if not the best PvP weapon in the entire game that'll leave Ghost as sad little orphans scattered across in the rain. If you're looking for a good weapon for PvE, I would recommend this baby on your hip and bust out something more situational to paint your activity. I would give it a good 5 out of 5 cowboy boots for PvP and a 2.75 belt buckle out of 5 for PvE. Thank you. Golly day, I should have done a whole review in my country accent. My southern folks would have been so goddamn proud.